All right, well, we left off. We had our view, but we couldn't really do much with it. We can click on things, but nothing really happens. So let's start making this thing interactive and cleaning up our code. Actually, we should also do a quick uh, put this all into GitHub here so that uh, if you're wanting to download any of the uh, any of the images or uh, the, the layout files, it's all there for you now. Okay, so in our program, we talked about uh, earlier the fact that we had this hello world default program that uh, IntelliJ built for us. We don't need that anymore. So it's, it's a good practice to just clean it out. I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna click on uh, hello application and hello view, sorry, hello controller and hello view. And I'm just gonna hit my delete key here and I'll delete them. And for the hello application, I don't think that name really makes sense for a memory card game, so I'm gonna right click on it, refactor, rename, and just call this main, All right? This is my main class with my main method. So that's what I'm gonna to use to run my program. So now in our view, if we want our controller to interact with our view, go back to my million, uh, <laughs> million slide deck here, I'll just spool down to this concept here. So <clears throat> we talked about model, view, and a controller. And what we've built so far is we've built out the models for our cards and our deck of cards. And we've built out our view so that we have all these, you know, image views that hold pictures of cards. But we haven't actually, you know, found a way to put a picture into those, uh, those particular cells just yet. And that really has to happen from the controller side, right? So the controller can create an instance of a card and then the controller can get that card's image by interacting with the model class and then pass that image into the view. So that's sort of the, what we need to create now. So <clears throat> what we need to do is uh, actually gonna to touch all three of these areas. In the view, we're gonna to have to put some IDs in there so that the uh, controller knows what it's talking to. Similarly, on the model side, our card class today doesn't actually have a way to get its image. So we're gonna have to add a little bit of um, magic there to get an image object out of our card. So let's get started. First, we can do it on the controller side. So if I go into my controller here, I'm going to need to interact with the flow pane. So the flow pane holds all of my image views. Okay, so um, if you go to the hierarchy on the left hand side, click on flow pane and go to code. Here you can give it an ID. And I think it's really useful to give it an ID that describes what this thing is. So um, I'm going to call this the images flow pane. And hit enter. So now whenever if I go file, save, when I go into that FXML file, you see here for the flow pane, I now have this FX ID parameter is set. So my controller can talk if, uh, to the images flow pane. So the flow pane, I'm gonna choose just one of these cards uh, and give it an ID. We don't need this for our regular game, but this is gonna just be a little easier to get our card images working. So I'll just call this, oops. Sometimes when you type in here, it grabs the quick keys up here. If that happens to you, just hit uh, your escape key. So I'm just gonna call this image view. So we're just gonna interact with one of these uh, just to make your life a little easier. We're gonna start that way. And then these two labels. So this is my guesses label. And this is my correct guesses label. And then for the button, we don't need to change the button in any way, uh, but when they press it, we wanna call a, a method and I'll call the method play again. So what this, this does is um, it will automatically uh, call a method for us uh, whenever someone clicks that button. So 
make sure to hit save. If you don't do save here, it doesn't update that XML file for you. Now, the one thing I love about this uh, Gluons version of Scene Builder versus the one that's built into IntelliJ is now if I go view and I go show sample controller skeleton, this shows me all of uh, all of my instance variables and all of the uh, the classes that I need to import to make my controller uh, work. So I just have to hit copy now. And I'm going to go into my controller, some memory game controller here, and I can highlight everything and just hit control V to paste it in. And now all of uh, my imports are done and all of these FX IDs are in the controller. And what's really wonderful is they're spelt correctly because I make typos all the time and this just saves me a whole lot of pain. <laughs> so <clears throat> the way that this works is um, these objects are defined in the view. So this is like uh, in the view when it says uh, image view here, it's calling the image view constructor in by, by the way JavaFX works. Um, so when we go into the controller here and we, you know, we look at these labels or this image view, we don't have to say equals new image view. It's already been handled by the system for us. Uh, so that's, that's a really nice uh, thing to have happen. Now, when our program runs and this fxml loader dot load method is called, that's where it connects your fxml to your controller. And um, it doesn't know uh, what methods you've defined, of course, right? So the way that they've set this up is by default, it'll connect them. And maybe you would push the play again button to start your game or you have a button called start. Uh, but if you want it to you know, preload and do certain things automatically, we have to have a, a mechanism to call a method when the scene loads. And the way that we do that is we say that our controller implements the initializable interface. And what an interface is, is it, um, it's basically gonna force this class to have certain methods. So if I do call to enter, or if you click in here, you'll see this little red light bulb, right? You have an idea, the light bulb goes off and it says implement methods. And the method we have to implement is called initialize. So what the way the system works is <clears throat> when it loads a controller, it checks if the controller is initializable, right? It can check if it's initializable. And if it is, then it'll do like memory game controller dot, and it will call this initialize method. If you don't have that implements initializable, it won't automatically call this. But now that it calls it, we can do things. Uh, so right now, if I grab one of my labels, for example, uh, and I say set text to be booyah, booyah, there we go, and I hit play, when it loads, it will now put booyah in there. Now I didn't leave enough space, so I only got the B, but you get the idea. It's automatically being called. So similarly, if I had uh, our image view, so remember we, we gave an FX ID to just one of these, and I said set image, I could say new image, and um, in our resources area, we have our images files. So if I, here, I'll say uh, card um, class, get resources as stream, and then I can put in the path to my image. So when you say get resource as stream, it brings you to this directory level automatically. It's just the way the, the project's set up. So I'll go into my images folder. So I'll say images and I think we've got threes or something. So I'll just go down, maybe I'll do the ace of spades as, uh, as an example, right? So ace of spades.png. So it will go in and find that PNG file. It'll create an image object and then set it into our image view. An analogy or a way to think about this is an image view is like a picture frame and 
when you create an image object, it's sort of like printing a picture. So I'm going to print the picture and put it inside of my picture frame. So now if I hit play, that one card where we have the image view, it loaded the Ace of Spades um, uh, image. But what we want to do is we want our card class to be able to give us uh, basically this information. We want, we want a card object for the appropriate uh, image. So the way that we're going to handle that is I've named all of these files uh, with a pattern. So the pattern is the face name, so two, three, four, all the way down through Jack, Queen, King, right? And, <clears throat> and then it's an underscore of underscore and then the suit name. So if I go to my card class, Go to the bottom of it here. So what I'm going to return is an image, and I'll just call the method get image. And I'm going to do this in a few steps. Uh, you could do this all in one line, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to say string. Uh, path name. So it starts off with images slash, and then it's going to be the face name plus underscore of underscore plus the suit name plus dot PNG, right? So all of the, all of these files uh, follow that pattern. And then I can say return new image and I'll say card class get resource as stream and path path pass in that path name, right? So each card knows its face name and each card knows its suit. So we can now get a nice uh, image back. So let's now go to our controller and try that. So instead of typing all this out, if I have a card object. So I'll say card, whoops, card equals new card. And let's do uh, diamonds and the king. So now if I say in here, card, get your image, and we hit play, we should see the king of diamonds uh, become populated in the corner here. And <clears throat> You know, of course, if we change that to be ace, it's 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 going to work. So we can go one step further. Okay, what if I get a deck of cards? And now I can say uh, deck, deal the top card, and give me the image of that top card. So I think it's going to be a two of something. <laughs> <laughs> Two of hearts, so hearts was the first card. If I shuffle the deck, now we'll get some random card in there. So hopefully you're seeing, okay, we, we got the king of clubs. And if you run it, you'll probably get a different, uh, a different one because it's shuffling, right? It's gonna be random. So hopefully you can see now, it's really easy uh, to interact with the, um, with the view through our controller file. So again, we're using, we look at the model view controller, our card model returns an image object to the controller. The controller sets that image into the view. So let's update this and we'll say, um, push. Okay, so now that's on GitHub. So again, if yours isn't running and you're trying to figure out what's going wrong, you can always go to GitHub and compare your code with mine. Uh, so if you just go to github.com slash generate memory game, here's the whole project. 
you can access anything from there and compare your answers, or you can go to the actual commits. Uh, you know, if you want to uh, add the code relative to um, the video you just watched. So if I click on this one, you can see we changed the class name. We've added in some different images, right? Um, and you can see how we've added up uh, the controller. So it's all right there for you.